Hey guys, this is the Bit Overflow channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can control a stepper motor from your USB port by using an Arduino. Note that you will need some basic programming knowledge for this project. So for this project you will need an Arduino Uno board, a few jumper wires and a 5 wire unipolar stepper motor with a driver. Connect the Arduino's digital pins to the stepper motor driver board. In this project I use the pins from 8 to 11 on the Arduino. When connecting the wires make sure you do it in the right order. After you are done connecting the digital pins, go ahead and connect the ground pin of the Arduino to the driver board's negative pin and then the 5V from the Arduino to the driver's positive pin. In order to understand the code we will write for Arduino, you will need to know how this kind of motor works. In the motor there are 4 coils with a common ground. By activating a coil the magnet's north pole will face the coil. By triggering 4 coils won't result in a full 360 degree turn, this is just a representation. So after we load up our Arduino IDE, we start uh, writing the code. First of all we want to declare some variables for the pins. So integer x1 will be the pin number 8. and. Uh, After this will be pin number 2, 3 and uh, 4, will be, number 2 will be 9, 3 will be 10 and uh, 11, ok. Uh, next we want to make a de uh, delay time for the coils, uh, let's set a def default value of 8, uh, then we want a, a string, so this will be for the communication between uh, Arduino and uh, the PC. String, uh, let's say com. Okay. And uh, we will want to split the the string in two parts. First will be the direction, so if we want to split the motor clockwise or counterclockwise. And uh, the second line will be the um, speed of it. So uh, let's say line 1 and uh, line 2. Ok. Uh, next we want to set up our pins. So uh, pin mode x1 output Okay, and uh, we do this for all our four pins. We just change the number to x2, x3, and x4. Um, done, and uh, we want to set the frequency of the serial port. So, serial begin and uh, 9600. Okay. After this, we want to we want to check if the serial is available, the serial port. So, if serial dot available is uh, greater than zero, then it will be available. Okay. Nice. Um, and uh, okay, so first we want to read the incoming byte, which we'll be reading in uh, our com variable. Com equals serial begin, no serial read string. Okay. 
after this we want to split this com in um, two lines as I said line number one is will be the direction and line number two will be the speed so uh, you do this by writing line one equals uh, com dot substring substring um, and from 0 to 3 ok and uh, line number 2 from 3 to 7 ok so now we have loaded our uh, instructions in line number 2 and line, line number 1 and line number 2 so um, we want to interpret them uh, but first we want to check if everything went well so let's print on the serial uh, what we just uh, what the Arduino received so serial dot print ln um, line 1 ok and line 2 now we are done with this so let's start uh, interpreting the the messages what we're gonna do is uh, first we will interpret the time so th this comes from line number two know that this will be the time uh, if line two equals um, 115 then uh, the delay time will be 4 so let's set the delay time 4 ok and uh, we will do this for um, 3 variables I mean 3 cases 100 uh, 0 50 and uh, 0 25 and uh, in this case the delay time will be 8 and uh, here will be 12 and uh, 14 um, these numbers are uh, not really relevant you can set uh, let's say num 2 or something like this but uh, these are preferred by me okay so next we want the movement so um, movement The X stands for X motor. Uh, if you want to build a CNC or something like this, uh, you will need an Y axis, and uh, this way I can differentiate them. Uh, in our project, we only use one motor, but um, I still use the X. Okay. Uh, just make sure you you put this uh, in quotation uh, in quotation marks because it's a string. So uh, we don't have a function yet. We will run the function in immediately. So we have two cases. We either go forward or uh, x b w, which stands for backward. So now um, let's set up some functions. New tab. Uh, let's name the functions. Okay. So, um, as I said, the coils are activated one by one in a certain order, so we have to create some voids. So let's say um, void step in. Okay. This will be for the first coil, and uh, step before the second, C for the third, and D for the last. Okay, so uh, digital write x1 high and all the other ones will be low. Ok, 
okay so x2 x3 and x4 low low and low okay so we have to copy this every case like this so as I said step A step B step C and step D and uh, we change the values to hike for the second hike for the third and hike for the fourth and uh, make the first low okay uh, now we are done so we want to create the functions for the forward uh, these functions are really simple we just write void forward okay so um, for integer stands if integer i is uh, 0 then uh, if z if i is um, smaller than 100 increase the e okay and uh, now we call our voids so first we, first we call a okay now uh, delay Opa. delay okay delay time which we set uh, right here okay delay delay time and uh, now we just copy this and set this to B C and D and um, we set okay I think we're done here so now the forward movement is go is okay next we want uh, the backwards movement so we copy all of this okay uh, rename it to backward I said backward um, yeah sh and we change the order so we start from D and we go to A oh, sorry B and A done um, so we are done with the functions now we want to go back and uh, call these functions so uh, let's sorry my microphone just fell over so uh, let's just call these functions forward you just paste it here okay um, then we copy this and paste it here backward okay and uh, the last thing we want to do is uh, make the line number one line number two and the com uh, null null so uh, we have to delete the command comments because uh, if uh, they st they are still in the line number two or line number one it will never get out of this uh, forward so uh, you just do this by right line one equals and empty quotation marks and you do this for line number two and uh, line number three I mean uh, com and empty quotation marks okay so let's check if our code is correct I hope it is whatever okay so uh, this line is working these codes are working 
so after you are done you can upload it to your Arduino but if you don't want to write all this code I will uh, I will post it in the description so you can find it there I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more upcoming content